Hello, right. I'm going to call this video targeting, targeting realities. Just some, just sharing some of my experience for the novice, some somebody, people who perhaps are new to this, and and more veteran experienced people who've who've got a lot more experience and knowledge. Now I'm no expert. I'm just sharing my pennies worth just reaching out to people, anyone who comes across this video for looking for information. Now most of the information I'm going to cover I've learned from other people through um, research, just trying to learn what was going on in my circumstances and piece by piece I got a, pit, a piece here and a piece there and built up a picture. So I'm just trying, like I've done one video on targeting and I tried to cram a lot in because I didn't really want to keep doing targeting videos. That's not really my expertise and that's not really my focus. My focus, I'm a Christian, so my focus is more sharing the gospel. Uh, but if you're not a believer, please don't turn off. You know, I'm not just because I'm a Christian, I'm not an idiot. I still know that water's wet and I know truth from error. I'm just, you know, I'm. I'm, I'm not holier than thou, I'm, I'm a sinner like everyone else, I don't live for sin, but I'm, I'm not perfect. Um, I've had circumstances where I've been humbled, and I've also learned how to humble myself. So I, I look up to all people, I, like, I try and see the good in all people, and I'm not too proud to learn from everyone who's got something to share so I'm just sharing some of the things I've I've learned and I'm trying to condense it I've, I've got a notebook I've, I've written a list of things I'd like to cover and I, hopefully I can get this quickly because I know my my previous video was quite long but that 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 was for the simple fact I wanted to cover a whole ground and and just leave it like that and not not add, keep adding to it so I'm going to pop Possibly this is the last video, just just some more practical things, a bit about myself and my own experience. I don't want to focus too much on my experience, but I will try and give a summary of what, what I have actually experienced and so people don't think I'm you know I'm just doing this for popularity or I, I'm not about that. I'm about reaching out and helping people. No more, no less. I'm not about hits and and fame and glory, you know, I have, not, I have nothing to boast about, I have nothing to, you know, be proud about, I'm just trying to share what I've learned, um, but because I am a believer, I, I've learned that there's, you know, there's only really two two churches or two bodies of people in, in this world, and, uh, and that's born-again Christians, um, and I'm not saying you know, born-again Christians are perfect, but they are simply people who know God, they know Jesus Christ. And then there's the other body of people that's... And I, and I was in that bracket also. I, and the other body, the other church, is people who are do not know Jesus. Excuse me. And everybody, including Christians, are under the influence of Satan. Now, you might not believe that, but I believe that, so I'm not going to deny that. But but if you're not a believer, that's your free choice. I'm, you know, this is not a this is not a gospel presentation. This is about targeting. This is going to be solely about targeting. But it, I just have to, you know, reaffirm that I can't deny that. Um, so I just want to cover some facts that um, that I know that, that that have been substantiated now. Now, being a targeted individual, you're not going to get people come out and go, hello, and give you evidence. You might get whistleblowers, but you're not who who have been in the in the shadows and, and practicing it. But that may not be in your to, to do with your circumstances. So I'm just sharing some things to to help people grab some things and get peace of mind and help build a picture for their individual circumstances because all, all circumstances are going to be completely unique and different different areas, different communities, different boroughs different programs, different reasons so like I say I'm not an expert I, 
you know, I'm very um, I'm disabled, so I'm limited and to get out and about in the world, you know, so, you know, I, I've learned all this from solely being on the end of it. So if you like, in his, uh, uh, you're in an enclosure and somebody's throwing stones at you and they're hitting you, but you can't see the people throwing the stones. But you know that you're being hurt and hit because the stones are hitting you. Other people might not see it, but you know, and that's how you build up a case evidence. Now, most of the evidence you're going to get is sometimes it's speculation, sometimes it's... It, but it, at best, it's only going to be circumstantial evidence. So, for example, if you if you were to build up a case and try and get it through a court system, the courts a court system would want facts and evidence. You can present facts from here and there, from other, uh, like uh, weapons, uh, stealth targeting weapons exist, but you have to prove that they're being used in your case. Now, I wish I could uh, say that. That is, you can prove that, you can prove that somebody on the other side of the room, of a wall, or in your community from a house opposite you, has got a device, or a car parked outside your house, or telecommunication towers, how are you going to prove that? It, it, it's going to be very difficult, so really all, the only tr all I'm trying to do is offer solutions for peace of mind, awareness, and th that helps you get on top of it rather than the circumstance get on top of you and crush you and destroy you because that's the I that is one of the main objectives of, of being a target it's a psychological to break you now there could be many reasons and there could be many method methodologies practiced so I'm going to cover a, a few things that that I've learned so um, right so facts, just a few facts, these weapons do exist, the methodologies do exist, um, and technology is advancing all the time, I, I'm not, I, I don't know all the areas, but I'll share you a bit of the, some of the things I've been under, now voice to skull, I've been under that, also thoughts, they put thoughts can be placed in your mind but because I'm a Christian I believe in Satan and devils and familiar spirits you know, like the the devil on your shoulder whispering, and 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 the devil can work for other people. So it's very hard to distinguish. Well, what what is is somebody on the end of a weapon, or a, or is it a, a demonic oppression? You know, is something trying to deceive me? A, 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 you know, like a devil. So it's very hard to distinguish what is reality and and what's what. So if you don't believe that, that that's fine. But um, so I'm going to try and stick to practical things that that I do know exist. So there's voice to skull. There's um, oh, if 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 you've heard well, there's harp. Now harp can be used for many things. What um, weather modification? I think that was its primary purpose. Now all nations of the world are investing in this technology, and love. Uh, it can be used for communication, global communication over horizon, over the horizon radar. Now they can communicate to submarines deep in the ocean, and they can narrowly target a uh, communication beam uh, on a certain a high, a high hertz frequency to about the size of a ten pence piece. That's how accurate it is. So I don't want to give people nightmares, but this technology is sophisticated and um, there could be many, you could be under so many different nets, you know, um, satellites, I don't, I, I don't know, I'm just um, speculating and reasoning, considering my, my thoughts and trying to give some understanding. So. Um, these these technologies do exist. So over horizon radar, uh, over horizon radar. So now one of the things I've considered of, of passing through different phases of targeting and different programs is I've had the physical people around me. Now that I don't know if that's currently going on. I think that's that broke down. You know that that failed. And they that that's they've dispersed. 
and then and then I had another wave, and that was more sophisticated. That was more subtle. That's more psychologically, you know, finish me off. Um, now there's cell towers and cell dial. They all all these cell towers and the um, the big towers and then the little mobile phone masks. They all communicate. So it's a network. So there's a global network of the of this uh, microwave technology. Now how that that is used, I don't know, but I know that these towers can be send out uh, individual signals to target that could, that could have an operator on on a, on a computer who enters into a terminal and manually targets people um, if you if you look at Selda now according to the information I, I don't know if it's factual or not but I, I believe it um, according to the because because I I can see potential Potentially, it's possible. Whether in reality it's a reality, I can't say because I'm not going to be out. Nobody's going to give me that information, and it's not necessarily going to be available. And what would be available would would be denied. So you you have to piece it together and make up your own mind. But uh, somebody and, and quantum computing so there's a quite powerful computers you can link up to this system and you can have manual operators one two three four and they could be targeting groups that's one possibility that's one potential reality that, that could be done or, or simply you could just be put if you can be tracked you know however that's technology works whether that's a chip or whether that's just mapping your frequency like like you're a living biological sim card and apparently that's how Seldar works once, once your signature has been put on and programmed you can be tracked like there's technology and cameras is face recognition and tracking all this stuff is advancing it's getting so sophisticated and so Orwellian it, 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 it's it's scary, it's a nightmare, it's a living nightmare. And the people behind this are psychopaths. Now, if you're not aware, the people who run this world are Luciferian. Now, you might not believe that. Freemasons are Luciferian, they worship Lucifer openly. And they communicate with spirits, devils, fallen, fallen angels. Now, if you don't believe that, you, you, you're going to miss a whole whole understanding of what's going on because these people do believe it it's documented and it's factual how how it all operates is a guess really because you, it's so ambiguous and diverse but it's united in evil so it all it works like a united evil so it's very hard to piece but you you need to understand that the, the, the most evil people most of them, either directly or indirectly, are Luciferian. Now, the people who control this world, you know, worship Lucifer. And the people they associate, they compromise and, and work through them. And it's layers, layer upon layer upon layer. So the, the core layer is influencing the layer below it. And it goes down the line right to the the general public that it tries to influence so it's one big net and that's what I'm saying about this only two churches everyone doesn't matter how strong you are how how um, independent you think you are you're either part of it or you're not you, it's, you can't we can't separate from being human and we can't separate ourselves from our weaknesses now we can Learn, learn techniques to overcome our weaknesses but we can't remove the inherent uh, potent, uh, the weakness to potentially and be prone to be influenced by these things now we've all been psychologically conditioned throughout our lives everybody's been psychologically, psychologically conditioned and uh, that's another story but these people at the top are uh, now there's so many testimonies that they are Luciferian and they practice that and that, that's an important thing to realise. And you've got Lucifer, you can worship Satan in the Navy now. 
in the British Navy, you know, there's it's a legitimate, you know, practice of faith. It's really perverse. It's getting this world is getting sicker and sicker and sicker, and and the and all the the base people, all the people who are sadistic and have, are dead in their conscience, they don't see right and wrong because they've been doing so much evil, and they've been born into that evil that. The, the, they can easily, like we go, oh, what? This is so unjust, it's so unjust. Well, yeah, but the, there's an, on the other side of the fence, these people think that they are elite, they're supreme, they're so egotistical and narcissistic that they, they don't think like everyday people, that, you know, the common people that grow, that try to be, to do the right thing. All right, nobody's perfect, but. You, you try if you're conscientious you, you try and be a good person and you try and put your mistakes right and then and then and then you carry on as a new day trying to improve you know not make the same mistakes that you made before and of course some of us have, have got areas of weakness where it's more difficult to overcome but that that's something that needs to be understood that um that these people exist, they're real, they're, they're a reality of this world. So that's another thing you need to consider in the targeting scenario, that what's going on in the world, how the world works. Now I covered that in my other video briefly, so, uh, but I needed to um, just stress that. So one, now, now these Luciferians compromise governments, you see, and they get I'm not saying the whole government and everyone in the government, because you've got good people in the government, but they're, you know, they've got their hands tied behind their back. They're limited. So it's hard to say, well, who's, who's in on it? Who knows about it? Because you, if you think like a prime minister, they don't really get into the driving seat until they're elected, and when they are elected, they're, they're only in there briefly, and they're, they're replaceable. The whole system's set up, and it's very Freemasonic. So if you imagine um, you get into power, and you think, I'm going to change the world, and then you've got all the people behind the scenes say, well, hang on a minute, mate. We, we've allowed this for you to get into that seat. We dominate. So, you know, you better watch yourself. And if you look at the, if you study these things out, you'll see that that's very much the case. These people are limited. So I'm not anti-government. I'm anti the people in the government who, who don't speak up because they're wet and they are guilty and they're compromised. So I'm anti the government in that sense, but I'm not anti-law because I know that the powers want to destroy the government. So they're gonna come up with some new government system i.e. the one the new world order are oh, we better we better centralize our power base like europe running making the decisions for every nation well no on your bike you know i'm not for that so you've got to understand these things and examine these things and do the research now there's so much research i can go into but all you really need to do is start for blank sheet and look for yourself and you will find these things if you if you're um, if you're sincere and honest enough, and you want to learn, you will learn, um, and that that's really what all I can say about that. Um, so there's so many different methodologies, um, so much. Uh, let's cover that. So there's so much technology and advancement, uh, and we've got quantum computers today. That we've, so we've got. Uh, computers that are able to process a lot of power really with ease you know we uh, what we what we've got what we can buy in the shops even though you can buy these big gigahertz computers that's nothing compared to a quantum computer and the memory the, the amount of memory they got uh, google have got um vast amounts of memory and they just keep adding to it because they store everything every communication online is dumped and it's recorded and it's collected and it's always there to it's not always monitored by people it's all it's always there to go back and um investigate and it, if you study out 
the, the seed of Facebook, how it all started. It was basically started on learning about the mob psychology is that it, it was a preconceived, it was a design, it was evil, it wasn't an idea that sprung up, it was a deliberate, um, calculative, guileful method to prey on people's, they like to talk, they like to gossip, and then that all that gossip is correlated, you see. Now you don't see the people behind monitoring everything, you just think you're on, on the computer and, and and you're you know, you've got a certain amount of privacy, so they say. But everything it somebody has access to everything. A it's regulated, so you've got you can have breakdowns in the law in the true people who who should be policing it. Now, if you know anything about the internet, it's just a free-for-all, and then they patch it as they go along. So it was never designed with security in mind to start with, you know, and then you, you know, all the hypocrisy about it, you know, Google Earth, you know, and terrorist threat. Well, why have Google Maps so you can map and plot things and, you know, it's stupid. And look at, not everything's blocked out. So, um... And if you if you know that uh, Channel Four program, Big Brother, now if you ever saw the mirrors behind that, I used to hate that program because I knew what was behind it. They used to invite people, VIPs and private people, psychologists, and they're all mapping human behaviour. You see, and all the world's like us. Oh, all entertainment is great, and it builds popularity, and then they exploit that popularity because they're they're learning from it, and then they thought, oh right, let's put this. So they psychologically profile people and think, oh, let's put that in the mix and that in the mix and that in the mix and we we learn from it and write. So they had lots of psychologists behind those mirrors learning and discovering and it was random. So that was the same with Facebook, to get people to talk, to gossip and share their personal information online. And then they, then they know, oh, look, that person's arguing and hates that person. We can manipulate that. We can play that person of that person. And that's the people behind. That's the devils behind. And, you know, you know, nothing's really nothing's really secure. If you know anything about computers, it, it's everything can be exploited because it's digital technology and, and it, it can appear as it's legitimate. But you can put some hidden code in that. And only the programmer may necessarily know that, and that's been proven by the you know the Windows and lots of so many different things that have whistleblowers have revealed the truth. So nothing's safe. So these people behind who who monitor and map have the upper hand over people because they they can monitor. Thing. And then, and so that that's a good way of targeting. You see, because they've got knowledge, they've got information, so they could target people. So uh, that's another important thing to realise. And there's so many different methodologies of practice. Um, the military calls it MOs. You know, there's military. There's uh, I've even heard of uh, scientists. You know, these Mas Masonic scientists who've been. You know, the shadow government, the people who've been authorised by some shadow authority and allow and recruit other people in that oik, like uh, university scientists or, or so many different groups of scientists to go and target groups of people. Now, I've read cases of that. I can't confirm that. If that, if that is the truth. But, you know, the... the the cases I've, I've studied and come across, you know, I had no reason not to not believe them because they, they rung true. But you can't confirm these things unless these people are given evidence and write in a declaration that it's true. And you can piece and you can put that line that up with two or three pieces in agreeing with that testimony to confirm that, oh, yes, that is fact. That hasn't been just put out there as misinformation to to make people look cranky who repeat it. So there's sci you know, scientists are given permission. So you've got to understand that there's shadow powers in the world that operate through the lawful powers down those avenues. So you've got the shadow arm operating and 
and it could be under the under the noses of the the normal politicians you see you know you, you know in the government so you've got this corruption behind the scenes and then and then if you know anything about masonry they they recruit other masons and then those those masons and get into those positions of law down the line so they they have an avenue they have an arm and a reach and they've got a big reach they've got a, a big head and a big reach and that's something you need to understand in in targeting in the context of targeting <coughs> um now uh I just want to some some of the phases you go through is uh, like trying to rationalise what what you're going through, telling everybody, trying to justify it and get other people to see it. Now, in my experience, I you know I've done that so many times to people close by me, and then you don't get anywhere. They just reinforce, oh, you know, blah blah blah. It falls on deaf ears. They don't want to hear. They kind of know it's true, but it's not happening to them. So you just sound, you just you just become irrational, and it it can eat you. And like I got all these measuring devices. Oh, what? Because I wanted to find a way of proving that you know, I, I, is there a camera that you can, you know, see these beams? I got a spectrometer, spec, you know, to measure rate all the radio frequencies in a certain band. And then I went to Ofcom. And it, the Ofcom uh, delegates what frequencies used for what. So you can pick out cell towers, listening devices, uh, satellite to Earth, Earth to satellite, because they all op have to operate on different frequencies so they don't clash with one another. Then you've got the stealth weapons. So I, I, I done all that to try and see what spikes I was getting in my room. I got a spike of, of everything, cell towers, uh, listening devices, um, uh, V2K frequencies, but you can't you can't individually because think you could have two different weapons operating on the same frequency. It doesn't mean that they operate in at the same time. So. I, I done all that, and I, I just become obsessed with it, and, and, and you don't really get anywhere because it's only circumstantial at the end of the day. But it, it it just confirmed to me that these things were actually happening, so that that's one good reason for doing it. And I got all these um, other measuring devices, but I kept getting readings everywhere. My house was live, um, but you got to consider the pollutions just the natural pollution from Wi-Fi. I don't use Wi-Fi, I never had used Wi-Fi. But if you don't use Wi-Fi, you've got it passing through your house. Now there's times in this house, it, it, it just goes, um, it gets, it goes, it gets louder. The, you know, the volume of it gets louder. And that's usually in the evenings and at weekends is this. Now, I live in a prefabric, uh, what is it, a timber frame house. It's a brick house, but it's timber framed. Now they put all this lining in the wall. Now that doesn't necessarily shield because microwaves pass through part, it will, that might block it, but it'll come through the windows and bounce around. So if you're going to shield yourself, you need to be in a complete bubble of it. And then it's got to be pretty thick to break down the, the power of it. So that's another thing you've got to consider because I thought oh, I'm being targeted. But it could just be, um, you know, pollution from all the things around. You've got thermostats, you've got cell towers, and you um, smart. If you've got smart meters, that's another thing. Uh, we got a phone call. Got a phone call um, a few months ago. Would you like a, a, a smart meter? I said no, thank you. You know, okay, bye. And then the next day, I got another a director, you know, some supervisor trying to, you know, completely appearing independent. But I thought, you know, this is the same company. It's the same. They've obviously picking up where people are refusing it to really hammer. And um, I had this woman like a dragon on the phone. And I had to, had to just say, look, I, t I told you yesterday I didn't want a smart meter. I'm radio sensitive. 
and it's all my oh it's not microwaves and I thought I'm not going now I said I don't want a smart meter okay have you got that and she went all right then you know she's trying to hammer me home hammer it home that oh there's nothing wrong with smart meters you know trying to push this smart meter so that's another thing and they're they're very dangerous so you've got all this pollution wi-fi is another thing so all these things affect and 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 that may make you a bit paranoid or or not not that's not really the right word but um you don't know what's what's what and that's very difficult to term, determine. So you've got to be careful that it doesn't eat you and you don't get obsessed. And that's what I had to learn, is don't get obsessed with it too much. So really practical solutions. Now, what's that? Um, Dr. Horton. Now, now, now I, I commend all, all of her testimony and, and, and the group. I've seen some of the actions, but I think sometimes people with qualifications are too intelligent for their own good and I've seen them in their protection right protection if you if you study the physics right you need to be completely shielded for soul protection because if you're open you're like a jacket potato and 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 microwaves bounce and, and all the all the interference from Wi-Fi it's going to enter into your shielding if you even if you've got a little slit in it it will it will it may find its way through now I've experimented this with a, a tent an old tent and I laid it in layers and layers of mylar and I tried to earth that as best as I could and um, I measured with my spectrometer inside now you got to use so much mylar and and tin foil because tin apparently uh, tin foil is perforated, so it needs to be thick aluminium foil. And you know to live in that is just you know you wouldn't want to bother. And it's got to, it'd have to be ventilated because if you're to sleep in like a tent now I, I haven't got it erected now. It was just to test, and I I I claim. Uh, crawled in it and I put my mattress in it and slept in it at night just for that peace of mind because I was, I was being heated up on a regular pattern as soon as I got into bed I, uh, you know I was targeted and pulsed and, and I just kept being cooked and that's one of the ways now they've even patented in certain hotels in the world microwave heating you look that up so they they warm people up by targeting them with a, a, a low microwave frequency, and and that will that they can warm you up your core temperature up, and that's what this one of the um, methods that they use is just to pulse a, a microwave so it doesn't leave any marks or scarring. It will just pulse at your at your body because you're water, and it will slowly cook you. And it'll raise your temperature up, your core temperature above what you can function at. And that's one of the targeting devices I've experienced quite regularly. And uh, and that just keeps you hot so you can't sleep. Now, now there's parts in the house where it's okay. It's just where I where I am most of the time. And if because I had an accident, I, I was limited to getting around, so I was stuck in this in my room most of the time because if I exerted myself I'd re-injure myself so I had to be very careful and if I didn't get any exercise it would make me iller it would it would make it worse so I had to kind of I was only limited to moving up and down the stairs and out and back and forth in the garden so but when I was sitting still I was just getting bombarded and then the then then there was a period I had the voice to skull and the you know the tormenting and uh, that, that was a very hard phase to endure and get through thankfully that's passed that's gone that's been dealt with now you can't see beyond what's going on you just know it's there now one thing I recognized was um, I, I won't go into uh, the the over now I, I I've covered it in another video but there was a time when I where people made themselves known to me that they were around me and they were tracking me and following me around and trying to direct me and I actually followed the, the direction into a shop 
and they th the, their instruction was they were playing me and I went along with it and they were saying to buy a certain item it was a hat and uh, I actually brought the item and, and, and the staff actually confirmed that people had been in there because they were all excited and wanted to know what it was about so that was a confirmation to me that I was on the end of uh, Voice to Skull and they were directing I don't know how many around were in the team but it was like a military operation a black ops operation and they were trying to steer me now these people are powerful there was you know they had vast resources because there was a whole street uh, street theater scene and they blocked off all the traffic on this roundabout so all the cars and lorries were planted there and because I'm regular to the town, I knew that you don't get that much amount of traffic down this certain road. And they were all parked along this road and they all pulled out like bal like synchronised swimmers, one after the other. It was all synchronised. And they controlled the traffic lights. I thought, this is big, what on earth was all that about? And it's only looking back on it that I could able to see what was going on. Now they're linked, they have access all areas, your doctors, the department where the department of work and pensions. So these people can get down the avenues everywhere. I'm not saying they're completely the house is full, because they, they just use people in there who work and they will do what their boss says, what their manager says. So they have access to people. So I realised that, you know, that's one of the methods. And and after that phase, that passed, and then they become a, then they reveal after that street theatre, and I and and I basically said on your bike, I ain't going along with the, what what they were trying to direct me to do. Now I don't know what they were trying to de direct me to do, but they they wanted me to accept this role. And they were going to be on the end of it, and I on your bike, and I threw, you know, I I done something rebellious so that you know, I did I stopped following their instructions because it it just it was going along with my own thoughts, and then I thought right, um, it was affected, it caught me off guard, and then when I caught it, I was able to choose between, you know, it completely took my choice away, if I would have been blind to it and and gone with it it would have completely controlled me because i had nothing nothing no confirmation around to say that it wasn't my own thought so they were planting thoughts now i don't know that wasn't quite what i'd experienced before with voice to scale technology this was almost like thoughts this wasn't voices this was like thoughts and voices and direction it, so i think they stepped up in sophistication with their technology and I think that go that's c continuing all the time so that's something to be aware of to see to keep your eye on what or what new technology has been whistleblowing and that's one thing I pray for is that there be more conscientious people on the other side who come out and share this information with the community within the area of targeting that they can say look I I, I you know I had a pang of conscience and I realised and, and they become a whistleblower or conscientious objector and I, I pray for more people like that and uh, so I knew that after after that and they uh, I, I went out for a walk one night and it was really early hours in the morning and I was being targeted now I didn't really wasn't fully aware of what's going on and then I started looking online and started oh, that's, hearing these experiences and then um, all the different areas, Barry Trow and then investigating it further and then and there's another guy, Jerry Flynn and then all the people who'd, who'd been, I can't remember her name, she's American and she'd actually been part of a covert team targeting people so I looked at the methodology and all the different countries you know, and then you see it everywhere. They they've all been practicing this since you know way back since the, you know, like the cult, through the Cold War. They've been developing this psychological techniques all along, uh, alongside MK Ultra. It's all the same people. So um, once they become over and let me know, and then they packed off. And I suspect there was people in my planted in my close. I live in a close because I saw one person go out of the house. Now, these are new houses, and I uh, was one of the first people in these houses, so I knew all the people. 
and who had moved in from the beginning. And this person had only just recently moved in. And there's other people that have moved out like five or six years later being replaced. Now, you don't know who, who's who, you know, people, people do keep themselves to themselves. But this guy walked out, out of his house, walked straight into another house that he couldn't have known these people because he, he was, he, they were new. And he walked in one house, commanded people out, to, out walked into another house, commanded another t a lot of people, and another pair come out. Then he went to another house and another pair come out, and they all sat in their cars in a queue. He gave them instructions and they all disappeared. Now, I, can, I don't know, I can, I, and they, were, they wanted me to see that, and they were all queuing and they all spun off. And I thought, well, these, are, these were all young couples and he was like a military officer sort of thing, but he was living as a normal person. Now, I can't confirm that. I don't know that. But that's what I suspected, and that's, to me, being on the end of it, it all, fat, it all fitted in. So these people were living around me, I believe. And then up, going, going to the woods, this was previous to this, all these laptops started lighting up in the woods. Like, and I thought, what? So there's people with uh, monitors and um, interfaces into the satellite technology mapping me. Now I was going for big journeys round, round the town, round, walking round in an orbit, trying to, you know, trying to think, figure out what was going on and try and shake it. And, and sometimes it was getting old of me. It was so powerful. It was almost like um, a big AI system controlling, controlling conscience, and it was in, it was violating my own, my own thoughts. So it was very difficult to break free of it, and uh, they had uh, teams following me. So as one would follow me, and they would peel off, another one would appear, and and I'd learned later that's a military technique that is actually the military practice. So they. They're monitoring you, so they know roughly, they predict roughly where you're going to go, and then they pop, they have a team waiting and a team's waiting and another team, so they can, with a, a group of people, they can get to you in advance. So, not, so they don't have to follow you all the time, because they roughly know what options you're going to take, and they, they have um, agents at those points. And I'd done this for miles, and I'd done it for a few nights on a row until I until I knew for myself that I was actually being tracked. Now, I don't know the sophistication, but I suspect I was being... I was on, like, a radar, seldar, and I could be tracked wherever I go, because I had a, you know, a bit of a dodgy swab take in hospital, and I don't know who that person was, you know. They, and that, but that's another story. So I, I suspect that's how they... After that... A few, a year or so after that, then I realised, then it got heavier. Then the targeting got heavier. So, after they became overt, so from being covert and I wasn't aware of what was around, they kind of revealed themselves to me. And um, oh, excuse me, <laughs> that was the door. Right, excuse me. Right. So after. Um, they became over and they all disappeared and then it stopped. It, it, the targeting didn't stop. It, I, I, I went on to a different program. Now, I, I was given the impression that because whatever they were doing with that covert thing and I shook it off, they, they just disbanded. So I was passed over to some more hands. Now, I, my personal... Now, I can't prove this because, like I say, they're not going to come out and tell you these things. It's just that I was under, 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 the, under the map of it, under the net of it, and I, I knew. And then the targeting changed. I get, there was a different group, and I, and I could tell because there was a shift pattern, you see. It's happening in certain times. Now, over a long period of time after that event, I could start... I start, you started to see the pattern, and the, it was the same techniques of heating at night. That they, that was continued, but the new thing was psychologically to break me, and then they use other things. People turn up on your door unexpectedly, 
and uh, some of those were government officials uh, depart through the Department of Work and Pensions and they can also pull the chain and the strings in whatever area they choose. It could be, uh, you know, use your imagination, but for me it was the Department of Work and Pensions and, and, and the, the local GP surgery. So uh, there was problems going on around my life in those areas and there has been continually for a long time throughout my life. So to me it's all, they're all linked, whether they're all aware of it, it's just that the powers that be, can you manipulate any circumstance and any avenue that they they deem that they can use against an individual so it's not like one group of organized people i think the organizations hidden in the shadows and then they work through the systems that are already in place so the tech the, the methodology changed now what they were doing now i knew that when my mum was her, um, ill, she died of a brain uh, brain tumour. So how how she got that, I don't know. Now I can speculate that, that was targeting. Now I suspect it was targeting through technology. And this, I know that this stuff. Uh, this, when my mum was diagnosed with a brain tumour, our doctor said, "Oh, there's been a spate, you know, a big spate of brain tumours." So, you know, surprise. And uh, and I know some of the other f uh, problems it causes is diabetes and uh, leukemias. So it's cancers and and well, any you know lots of health effects. It really I was so lethargic and worn down, and plus my injury and other things on top of that, I was very you know weak. I couldn't do much each day. The day would just fly. It was. It was, it was intense and they changed the methodology now the methodology was recording sounds of my own house like the dog barking now I, I cottoned on to this because the dog was asleep on my bed and, and they were playing into my head the dog barking as if it was somewhere else in the house and then cupboard shutting and then door slamming and the garage door opening so I'm like the garage door, I've got to go and check it out. But after a while I cottoned on to it, it was just, they're bombarding me with own, trying to get in my head with own sounds that they'd recorded from my home to try and, you know, and of course they want you to go to the doctors and say doctor, you know. But I, I've, through experience, I know that those avenues, are, they've either got people in there but, you know, that potentially could be the whole surgery because I'm very well, well aware of Luciferians and their bloodlines and how they get their people in so they can dominate a whole community. Now, I don't know that that is the case and if that's the case continually, but they can get one person or two person and they can be the um, head of that surgery and they could have a lot of people underneath them that aren't aware of it or just one or two doctors that are involved with it and that's the doctor you'll be delegated now i had all this with my doctor they they give you the doctor that they they de determine you can't choose which doctor you well you can but when you when you get a registration for a doctor they said they appoint you the doctor uh, so it can it can be controlled so that was another methodology that i wanted to just put out there because um so going through that, that was kind of it, it, get, it getting from extremely bad to bad. And then now I don't feel like there's any, there could be people involved that, that you know, they couldn't. Now, my consideration is, that, you know, computer technology, technology is sophisticated enough just to leave you on a program and let, the, let a computer do the targeting. And then you program what 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 sort of targeting weapons you want to use. Now, I haven't got um, a lap I've got a laptop, but I keep it in a sealed sealed in metal. So, and and I only plug it in when I need it. And I, and when I'm not using it, I keep it in a like a Faraday cage in a covered in metal. So it ain't gonna. A, it ain't going to be able to remotely access, and B, it can't fire off any beams. 
Uh, so that there's things like that they can use. They can manipulate technology like Wi-Fi. They can hack it and then get it to fire off a signal and direct that signal at you. And then you've got these... Um, after the dogs were chipped, I had to lawfully, you had to have your dog chipped. Now, every time I walked up, uh, up past this tower, I felt that... The, now, I was walking over a motorway bridge and they were firing sounds. I was walking over a bridge and they were playing a sound. So somebody had recorded the somebody hitting the metal railing. Now, there was no one around. So as I was walking past, it really made me jump. They played this sound at me, and I, I personally believe it was from, because it's right at the top of a hill, and there's this big military tower. Now, I've walked past that over the years, and there's people guarding it. There's, you know, there's one guy working on it, and there's another guy, you know, like an, hanging around at the entrance to where it is, like policing it, a real... looks like a security... You know, and they're, they're just, like, making out that they're, you know, he's part of the work team, but he's stopping people going in there, and and he looked quite menacing. And every time I walked past this town, my dog would just rear up, you know, he'd just go rear up, like, on the lead. And I'd go, what, have I trodden this toe or something? So I was very careful not to watch what my feet were doing. And it happened a few times. So, you know, that's another and on what was really aggravating me is that they could target my dog because he's you know they got chips uh, you know and that was another anxiety uh, you know psychological and this is what it is and this is what I, I i kind of outgrew it after and after i stopped obsessing with it i kind of outgrew it and i you know that helped me to get on top of it i was helped to get on top of it and uh, I realised these people, you know, I just, once you see what's going on, it's pathetic, it's crude and it's cowardly, it's a, it, it's a violation. And once I accepted that and stopped obsessing on it, I was able to function more and get on with my life. And now, now I kind of don't really focus on it much, I just try and get on. Although I'd like to make practical measures to shield myself, but I'm... I've looked into this and I think the only way is to live in a, um, a completely shielded house. Your windows, your roof, your floor, everything. Because I've even read cases in MOD properties where they're tunnelling underground from a, a base nearby and they've got access tunnels under the homes. So, you know, you've got all that consideration. Oh, what's going... Paranoia, as you call it. You know, it could could potentially be tunnels under every every street for all we know i i don't know and i'm not saying that's the case in in my home but it's but i know of people who've uh, uh testified of this that there, there there has been mod housing where they've had tunnels underneath you know so what x-ray i don't know what they're doing and, and you know they've got the technology where they can x-ray your house and and look from a a mobile unit the police can do it they could x-ray your home and look through the walls and you and you've they're releasing that technology to the public in in, in computer systems and so all this technology is there and it's potentially i'm not saying it's happening and it could be happening to you but it is potentially a, a possibility and it, it is really if you when you're in the middle of it and you've got no other thing to focus on it, it can really eat you and destroy you. And that's, once you realise that that's the objective, it loses its weight, it loses its power, it becomes useless. And I think once more people become aware of it, the old, it will lose its power because it only really works on people's ignorance. It ain't, it's not. It's like hyp, hypnosis. It doesn't affect everybody. People who are quite know their own mind. They're just not going to let themselves be hypnotised. And I'm not saying people can't be affected, even the strongest people. But you're less likely to be affected. And I think it's once you realise that these people who they are and that, that that they're interchangeable, they're used, they're deceived. It gives you the it. it, it 
it evens out the the playing field a bit more. And the, these people are, you know, even if they do continue the practice, you, you, you know, I, I pray for these people. I feel sorry for these people to a degree. I don't, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't feel sorry if they would judge for what their actions, what they're doing. But I, I do have compassion towards them, and I, I do try and seek understanding because they're just, at the end of the day, you know, we're all deceived at some point. We're all ignorant at some point, and we can all do do the wrong thing. We can do bad things in a position where we're placed in a position to be given that that authority, and and that come that that comes down so many avenues. Like I said, universities military who else is getting involved in this you know in america they got um you know like the community policing they encourage the community now they don't tell them oh you're targeting individuals they tell them something else oh they're a terrorist threat when you we've got this little program we just let them know that we're there you know they say they lie it's about lies and their power is in their silence because it's because all, all, all our governments are practicing it so they don't want it in the public because if, if if a good conscientious parliament, they could be advised. Oh, you know, we don't we don't really want to touch on this targeting subject because our own military are doing it legitimately, and that will weaken the power of the. So you got somebody whispering to the parliament on both hands, and then you got you've got uh, a probably a legitimate use. Or a so-called legitimate use for serious terrorist threats being used. So they're using this technology for in a warfare against an, a, a genuine enemy, and then you got the shadow arm using it on on civilians. Now the par, par, people in Parliament might not necessarily be aware of the shadow arm, and they could be told by somebody who controls both sides. Oh no, you know, really don't want to say anything about that. It will cause cause you know panic and that will disrupt our security measures and then they compromise and toe the line so it's very hard to know who knows what and what what is what but it, you, it can destroy you so once you become aware of it you can outgrow it and it, it get on with your life a bit more although it doesn't get go away and it's still disgusting and it's still an intrusion and, I, and it is going to advance and it is going to get worse. And this is why I don't believe it. There's so many other areas of compromise that you've got these uh, social services taking children away in secret courts, right? You've got these paedophile rings that have been going on generationally for years and years and years. And that's that's been going back from World, uh, World War Two when they started practising getting politicians compromised in hotel rooms rigged with cameras and getting them get putting them in a party where where they either employ hookers or prostitutes or what and and they even compromise with children whatever because they psychologically profile people from the from cradle to grave and they keep a record they know what your weakness is they know what your achilles heel is if it's kiddies if it if it's uh, pornography or if it's this or that they will place that and look, no one's going to see, no one's going to do anything and they, and they put, pr provide the environment for them and it and, and it'll be secretly filmed. So when that person is perceived to be a powerful position in the future and get and, and go up the go up the ladder and get into a position of um, authority, then they then they pull out. Oh, you remember this? You know, you're going to toe the line. Otherwise, this is going public, and that's that's a practice that goes hand in hand. Now, the military are aware of this, but they're not going to tell you. Whistleblowers tell you. So that's a technique that they knowingly use, and they, and it's openly known about in our parliament. So the whole the whole British parliament's compromised and corrupted. And you know, if if people are all the, the general public do become aware there will be a social breakdown and riots and they're always they're already trying to foment those riots they sponsor groups to cause these things and then they withdraw the the police support they want it to happen that's what islam's for to create this you know this social 
contention and friction because they've got a, they got their eye on mopping it all up. Oh, you, you can't, you know, you, you can't, you're rebellious, so we're going to tighten the law. We're going to write strict laws, and that, that, that's the game being played. So you've got all these... All this knowledge you have to learn, you have to look into it and establish it. Um, so we've got all these pollution, smart TVs, that's another thing. You know, that's even been released that smart TVs are listening and looking devices. I don't know about looking, but they, they record everything. That, that, so if you're in the, in the room, you've got a smart TV, they can potentially record all the conversations in that house and keep, keep that on a database. And I, I've, I, I've heard people actually confirm this, and I've looked into this, that there are databases, and every, every, every activity online since the beginning, uh, according to sources, has been recorded and it's been kept. So, you know, bear that in mind. So you've got smart TVs. Now, that's another thing that, that, that they can operate to, to potentially fire out a harmful signal into your living area. Now, like I say, I live. I've got shielding. Um, so I've got this plaster of Paris with a, uh, you know, like plasterboard, and it's got a silver back shielding. And that, I think, a lot of the some of the stuff that I've suffered is just um, Wi-Fi interference. Uh, but I, I don't know. But because I know I've had the targeting, I think on top of it. Wi-Fi interference and mobile phone te telecommunications. Then you've got a quite... I live in a, a military area, MOD area, so there could be a lot of earth to satellite communications because I've picked up a high spike of um, international communications, which I think directly goes up into satellite, satellite to satellite, and then satellite to earth. So... You're getting all this interference on top of targeting, so you can even. That's why I think people get anxious and think, you know, that they're, they're being targeted. They are. They are being targeted, but they, they think everything's everything is targeting. You know, every what everyone's gaslighting you because you don't know because they're not going to come out and say yes, I am gaslighting you. No, they just it's psychological. And, and part of it is to drive you nuts and then you start telling people and then all the people around you will report you to the social set or make note of it or, or be used against you. And they, they, people's ignorance reinforces the problem. So, you know, that isolates you. Now, it, it, if, if you're in a circumstances like that, it, it's probably best to be quiet or isolate, or do isolate yourself, keep keep separate. I, I can't speak for everybody's circumstances. People have got to make their own decisions and uh, give themselves the authority in their own lives what, what they need to do in their circumstances. You can't compare one circumstance to another. Uh, but uh, depending on your family, you know, if you've got a, you know, a fighting, falling out, bickering family it, it, it's more unhealthy than a more sober family so every circumstance is different but it reinforces it and then all the avenues like doctors they're not going to want to touch it you know because they, they, they don't want to lose you know that they have to take it on so they're not going to want to deal with it and it's like most things they're compromised so they you know automatically they're they're reinforcing the problem and they're not going to speak out against it unless they all speak out, and that takes time. There's only a few doctors actually recognising it as a legitimate case. But I can't even get a doctor because of, because of like past illegal experiences. I don't trust them. So, you know, keeping finding a doctor, you can't go and pick and choose what doctor you want, and you can't interview them and, and test them to see if if they're going to stand up for you or not. So you can be walking into making things worse and then it get other people involved who, are just, who could be potentially, you know, for it on, on the end of your targeting and they will just get other people, he's nuts, you know, she's nuts, you need to get them sectioned and then you can bring a whole lot of problems on top of your targeting. 
it could be like a net and, and that's one of the avenues that they're there waiting for you you know or or the people you go to can potentially be pinched to compromise because I've had experiences that have been really friendly one minute then you go back and and they completely they're the opposite because somebody's got to them and said something so they start changing their minds whereas before you would they were on your side you know they, they were agreeing with you conscientiously you know being honest and truthful and sincere and then the next minute they're like oh, I don't want you know you you're paranoid or you're this and you're that so those avenues are closed as far as I'm concerned they are for my circumstances you might have a conscientious doctor who's going to go and fight it but I'd be very careful very wary because of the power of this net and, and the Freemasonic craft and the iniquity set up <coughs> so um, so practical solutions unless <coughs> unless you want to live in a uh, a Faraday cage if you're being targeted and you need to protect yourself you know that's a pretty horrible existence and that, that's not for me I'm afraid I mean I just I just took it and, and prayed that you know I could get through it and thankfully I did but I, I don't know what in my internal health's like and how long I can take of this because it's absolutely weakened me. And one of the things I had to do was exercise and move around as much as I possibly could and keep busy. And I changed my diet. I start. One of the things I'd learned is from uh, 30... Now, I, I've only found one account of this, so I can't confirm it. But apparently 30 people in the 30s who've gone up to the 33rd degree in Freemasonry now the most Freemasons are ignorant because it, it, it's it's layered and it's act, the people at the top are corrupt and they raise up people through the layers that are compromised and the people that are good and conscientious they don't they're not, they're not going to give them a hand up the doors are going to be shut for those people and that's a mo vast majority of Masons they're just you know they believe they're in this club and they feel a bit special about being in it but they do a lot of genuine charity work and that's the false face you see that they hide behind so masonry hundreds and hundreds of years ago was was a different thing now it's got this corrupt body cancer in it that runs the whole lot and uh so i i found this account of 33 degree masons uh, know about super what foods to eat and what foods not to eat what's kosher what isn't kosher because they know all about the the agenda of genocide and slowly killing off population areas and targeting certain classes so um, one of the things that, that, that I, I do is I you know is I'm not a very disciplined dietitian. I try to change what I eat and purchase. Although it's more expensive, I, if I can, I get only organic food that I know is has not got anything in it, and it's not been grown in contaminated soil. It's not it's not been fed with artificial fertilizers, and it's not got additives. And try and eat as healthily as I can. Now that's expensive. I'd rather do that than suffer the health consequences. So I'm kind of trying to improve and, and, and I've got a long way to go. And then one of the things I learned, um, oh, what was her name? She she dated Lee Harvey Oswald and she was uh, recruited by the CIA secretly from college, you know, like headhunted. Then they got to a, they got all these students to a symposium and a, and a, a festival event. Then they groomed them and and got them on board and recruited them to grow the cancer virus and to develop a cancer so she also because she was the one who could create cancer cells really fastly she also also know what cancer thrived on and what what areas it 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 didn't now if you look into this you can it's all to do with your immune system and all the all the rubbish in food just weakens your immune system uh, ibuprofen 
resets your immune system. It's not a good thing to take because it can shut down your immune system temporarily. And there's all these toxins that we've that accumulate in your body, and that can we and after a time you become weak, and you become that's when you, the health problems start to happen all at once. So looking into that area to. to it was a more of a preventative course and for my health I heard advice to say you know vitamin B and uh, now I, I, I eat you know I eat quite a balanced diet anyway but it wasn't organic an organic diet so I just changed my you know eating patterns and this lady who worked on uh, the cancer said that vitamin C high doses of organic vitamin C can help you beat cancer because it was it will boost your immune system and cod liver um, omega three you know oily fish so but 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 one thing I'm care careful of is if you're taking vitamin supplements because they do make you they do help you get on top of your health and and the eating and exercise that that's a that's been a big help so I can that you know and this is not all my something I'm. Uh, I've been a trailblazer and this, these are things I've picked up from other people most of the stuff I've learned I've picked up from others so one of the the things that that can really help you and boost you is, is a healthier lifestyle now um, I'm not going to go into it too much but that's one thing I changed was taking uh, supplements and you know eat, eat oily fish and, and a healthy option of source where you're buying it from and and fit a high di fat, at least a thousand milligrams of uh, vitamin C now, I'm not really sure if that's daily or week, at least once a week but I think vitamin C you, you're not you can't overdo it so that's one of the areas that have been really helpful to me and help me recover my energy levels and because uh, of the targeting and my ears are you know, it started in my left ear, and this has been going on for years, about two, two or three years, and then then my other ear is now, and it's just constant, you know, and and I think, well, what's the point of going to an avenue to get, you know, they just said, oh, you got tinnitus, you know, like, go away, you know, they're not, they're not going to be looking into this targeting, and you know, it's not going to relieve anything, so I, it's just one of the things I live with. I've just accepted what the consequences of this is. This is going to be, um, you know, that might be. It might eventually destroy me. I, I don't know. So I'm just trying to change my lifestyle habits. You know, conquer some of the things that, that I'm, I, I've, I've been addicted to for a long time and get off them. Another thing is is uh, processed sugar and you know, like all the processed white flowers and things like that. All the processed stuff. Is to stay off it because it adds to the problem so that's another good area that I I have a, a testimony that that helps tremendously and and keeping busy and exercise not obsessing on it growing knowledge base so you can outgrow it see though if you ever heard that thing where you're nervous and you just that advice imagine the person naked naked human somebody who feels that as you you're intim an authority figure you feel intimidated there's all that saying oh imagine them naked now i'm not i'm not saying that but imagine those see those people who target you for what they are they're cowards they're doing it in the dark they're, you know it's a really weak and pathetic thing to do and and once you look at it like that you don't feel so much a victim. You feel it, you're more. It gives you a bit more of a victory and puts you on that level playing field. So that's another area that's helped me. So um, now exercise, detox. Another thing I learned is a, uh, you know, I'm, I was a terrible person for looking after myself. Uh, that's something I need to do. Look into a bit more is detoxing, helping your body get out of things. Now I know a few things but not I haven't got a vast knowledge of something I'm gonna to have to research is how to now I know charcoal can help you get out it soak up all the toxins and build up the toxins in your body. Another thing was sucking a silver spoon I heard someone say. Now I'm not saying go and do those things, I'm saying look into it first if but I think detoxing 
is also some another area that that is uh, is going to be helpful towards me. So now I heard uh, that Doctor, what was her name, Doctor Horton, I think is it Horton that that who was targeted for doing a paper at university and she's got her website now. A lot of her knowledge is, 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 is true and accurate. But um, I heard her make a comment say that a Far a Faraday cages are useless. Well, I disagree with that and I think the science proves that if you have a Faraday cage, if you're able to build a Faraday cage... Now, now um, what a Faraday cage is, you completely complete this, a metal box and it would be earthed and now it's important to uh, earth it because metal will absorb and carry a current it will hold a current so that just becomes a glow in and that will give off the radiation from that you need to earth it so it goes into the ground now you can if you live in a basement that you know I haven't got a basement or a, con a thick concrete is another thing that dampens the effects of microwaves but a Faraday cage is either wire mesh. Now, it, I think it would have to be a certain grade. It'd have to be quite a fine grade. Now, I don't know. Now, I saw this guy online with a radiation detector, and he, he was in like a chicken coop, and outside the coop, because he was underneath a uh, overhead pylon. You see, now that's another thing that gives off radiation: overhead power lines. You know, and that's another thing that's gone controversy that's gone on for years that was actively denied oh no that's they're harmless like x-rays oh no they're harmless now these are all lies so you need to educate yourself with the science and the facts now a faraday cage this guy completely in you know no radiation within it because microwaves can't pass through and even barry trower confirmed this that faraday because he put shielding on his house now he would know but you, it doesn't stop it coming through your windows. It might stop directional targeting if you know where the direction is coming from. But if it's coming through all areas, a microwave will come through your window, pass straight through you. And apparently, microwaves go around the earth, could go around the earth seven times a second. So, if you're just in a shield and it's open, you're going to it's going to enter into that shield. And cook you. So I thought that well, perhaps that wasn't quite accurate information. They said, "Oh, we've tried Faraday cages. Don't worry about them. They're useless." I thought, "Well, hello. No, I don't. I don't agree with you there, Doctor Horton. Or that uh, that's completely wrong. But that you know that that might be right. You know, but I, you know, reading the science. I, you know, I've seen things on." On documentaries, people in Faraday cages with with radiation and electricity, you know, and it being earthed, even in a car. But because of microwaves, you've got glass; it passes straight through the glass, so it won't make any difference. So you need needs to be complete shielding. Uh, but how do you do that? You know, if, if you're practically living everyday life, you, you either need to be in a bunker underground, or you completely need to shield your windows, your roof, your floor and your walls and earth your house so really practical options are limited now i thought about now if i had the uh, energy i'd build a, a a house or a bungalow site a, you know a, sink, a small f apartment in, in my back garden and i would completely shield it and and line it and double protect it and shield the windows and that would be somewhere for peace of mind so I, I personally think a Faraday cage is, is one of your best protections because the military use Faraday. You know, you can buy those nets. They're, they're about a thousand pounds silver, silver meshing, and it does actually block out more than mylar and tin foil. So you've got these um, so-called scientists sitting on, you know, doing videos, and they've got open parts of their ca protection. Now the microwave is just going to come through that protection and, and reflect it. So I think, well, you know, these scientists don't always know what they're talking about. You don't want to trust what everybody says because they could be right in 80% of what their knowledge, but just because they're so clever, 
you know sometimes they can be a bit e proud i think because they they're intelligent they're qualified therefore they know best well you need to test what everybody says so that's why i try and look up to everybody you know even even people who sound like they're nutters or are deemed as nut not a fruitcake they might just be emotionally not dealing with it very very well it doesn't mean that they can't give good advice it doesn't mean that they're not being targeted it just means that they've got less tools to express themselves and deal with it. So I mean, that's why I don't put my trust in people. Because we can all be wrong. We can all make mistakes. I try, you know, Christianity's taught me that the, the Christian church is unleavened. Everyone's equal. There's no one head. Now, you might have people further in up the queue who are leading the way because they've got more experience. Now that's a leader in that sort of sense. They're leading because they're more advanced in it. Now I look to people like that in my life, in all areas, to learn from. And one day where they are in, in the trail, I'm gonna reach that point where they were one day because we grow and we learn and we develop. So there's leaders in that sense, but there's not leaders above us. You know, there's, in my life, there's only one leader, and that, that's my Lord and God. Now, I don't, I look up, I, I, you know, I can look up to a lot of people, and that's what I've tried to humble myself, to to learn from all people and measure all things carefully, and then reevaluate what it is you've learned. So you're always growing, you're always learning, and any mistakes you can throw out the bin. And anything that's true, it will, you won't be able to get rid of it. Once you've established it, it will stay with you and it'll be solid. And that's what I'm trying to provide, some, just some practical advice. And now, I, 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 you know, I'm in error, so you, it's down to each of us to go in and test and examine. And you might not be very confident doing that. You might be struggling. But I, one thing things I learned is you need to give your authority, if you've been really oppressed really uh, abused now, like, now I'm thinking of very vulnerable people you may may not have any confidence so I'll, I you know if there's anyone like out out there like that that that's who I would really like to reach reach out to because they're they're people who need a bit more help than others so I would say to that person give yourself authority over what you of yourself of your circumstances and don't, if you are going through it, don't worry about what other people think. Just go, that is, it's a fact. It is, it is happening. You might not understand it, but give yourself authority to act, to recognise it. And don't try and justify it and explain it to other people. But just give yourself the, the, because nobody's stupid. Nobody is without intelligence. It's people are, oppressed so that they made to feel that they're not intelligent and then you've got all these egos and measuring oh, i'm better than you and i'm oh, i've been more and i've been doing it longer than you well just steer away from those idiots because they're 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 up and down on a seesaw like a washing machine cycle and you know where are they going to be tomorrow don't worry about what other people think of you don't worry about what other people are doing or comparing just look, give yourself the authority to go and educate yourself. And, and you're quite capable of learning what is right and what is wrong. You don't need anyone to tell you that. you just got to believe that. And you've got to realise that everybody's, you know, every human being is just as much as equipped as the other one. It's just you need certain tools. Now, I've had to learn these tools through trial and error, through experience. So don't... Don't allow yourself to be oppressed and trodden and walked over. Pick yourself up and give yourself the authority in your life to um, go and analyse these things for yourself. And that will build your confidence. And don't trust other people. Look to, look to what's good in other people and what's right. But don't put all your... Don't lean on people. And don't be... De try not to be dependent on people. Because people... Some people... Um, you know, it's, it's nothing wrong with getting help from a person, someone putting their arm around you for a bit. But, but they, you know, they're not going to want you there living in their basement all the time or, you know, have people sucking off their breasts all the time. 
uh, so it's a balance it's a fine line to balance because people are, people can because that can be a sickness people can relish in have, having people around them and they can and that can become unbalanced and biased you've got to be very careful about dependency and trusting in people it's, it's okay to to lean on people when you need it when you need a bit of support so you know for a temporary period but you need to start to you know outgrow that and and depend upon what you've learned and and then not lean on other people because you can overburden people people can allow themselves to be overburdened and that that doesn't do any anyone any good so i think that's something to be careful and i've learned that from my experience i've been a very dependent person and and lent on people the wrong people so that that's something you you, you need to be careful about on both sides of, of, of that, the dependent E and the person who, who's dependable. Um, I think I'm nearly covered. Um, yeah. So that's really my video. That's that's all I wanted to add. Some practical, just share my bit of experience. Uh, now, now my name's Andrew Hopgood. I'm 47, and I've been targeted for ma many years, but it's. But like everyone else currently, it really only got heavy. And I, I personally, I think that's because they've rolled it out on a global scale. And I think I, I can relate to what other people, because that's helped me and I've learned from other people. So I'm, I'm, I'm just sharing my experience. And I just wanted to say, yes, I have been targeted. And I'm not, I'm not doing this for popularity. I'm not doing this for hits. I'm just reaching out to anyone who finds this video, who sees the targeting and they're looking for food. They're looking for edification. Um, now, I'm a Christian, so to me, the gospel is the most important thing. But I, I've left that in another video, but I've... I do pray for people, even the, whether the people accept Christ or not. That's their free choice. I'm not, I'm not going to interfere with that. But I'm not going to oh stop supporting or oh, I'm not part of the community. They don't want to play with me. You know, I'm I, I'm <laughs> I'm completely at peace with whatever people. What I don't care what people think uh, or or say about me. I'm really not. I've been through that in, in my life and. That, that's passed so I'm not about popularity I'm about supporting any good people who care people who really have a heart for other people I want you know and I'm I've developed that that's developed within me and I, I have that concern because I've been a vulnerable week uh, victim so I know what it's like to be on the end of it so that's the sort of people I'm reaching out to and as I've grown I'm, I'm trying to reach out to everybody because I know that I've learned from everybody and I'm sure there's people out there who whose knowledge base might not be they might have areas where they're lacking that and I have areas where I'm lacking that I need to learn and I'm going to go and be looking at other people what they've what their expertise is or their experience where they have some expertise in an area i'm going to be looking at that and I'm, i need that so i'm just trying to reach the whole the whole range people that are new to targeting people that are you know just sharing you know what i've got in my bag it, 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 you know i'm not an authority i'm just sharing simply sharing my experiences and i just like to say that i do you know i'm not boasting i don't really want to boast but I do, I do pray for people. Um, I pray for all people who are targeted. It's a wicked practice, and I do pray that it, you know, it does, it does get overturned, and we, and we do, we do, it does cease. But I'm more realistic. I, I, I think because of the way the world's going and the way the world's set up, it's never going to stop. And it's, I don't really see how the government and our law, I, you know, I think we're at the end of it. I think we're, we're heading for real choppy waters and it's not going to get better so that's why i offer the gospel because if you're not saved if you don't know the lord jesus christ you know well what's life about you know you might it's important to help people in the targeting community but i'm trying to think of a the ultimate 
question are you saved do you know jesus christ because i do therefore i know what happens if you don't know him and what you and he's feeling you know it's his loss it's not my loss if you die in your sin and your soul perishes in hell because that's the reality you know it's not used to fit, make people fear and get them into church because i'm not in the church i don't care you know i do care i care because of, a for your soul I wouldn't want anyone to suffer in hell. And, and, and another reason I care is because the Lord, he, he cares. And it's his loss, ultimately, because he's the creator. And he's the one who died to save people. Now, if people want to reject that, that, that's fine. There's nothing I can do about that. And God's not going to force... He's not going to compel people to, to believe. You might get Christians trying to guilt people into believing i'm not one of those christians because if 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 somebody come up to me like that and stuck their foot in the door you know they get they get a piece of my mind they might even get nutted on the on the nose or something you know and i'd lose my temper in the past i wouldn't now I, you know i'd deal with it differently but um i'm not I'm, i've seen people christians holding people you know, and try and ram it down the throats. I'm not about that. I just share it and I move on. But I can't deny it, so that's why I've had included it in my testimony because it is part of me, it's part of my life. And if it wasn't for Jesus Christ, I wouldn't be alive. You know, I wouldn't have got through my teenage years. I wouldn't have got through my life at all because I, I was victimly abused as a two-year-old and nearly murdered. So, you, you know, that... I know what it's like to, and there, and there's people in this earth that, uh, on this earth that have experienced far worse than what I can even uh, uh, comprehend. And I've been through some pretty heavy stuff, and it has hasn't stopped. You know, it's just one, it's one thing after the other. So I'm very realistic in realizing that the world's not going to be a better place. We're not going to all hand hold hands and have peace. You might get an official false peace but you're never going to get justice not completely there might be individual cases but i do i still i still hope i do still have faith in the law and i still hope that the awareness will grow and there'll be people in that it will it will temporarily cease and it will be acknowledged and i uh, you know i'm not against people attempting that it's just in my my opinion, and I'm not, I, I, you know, I pray I'm proven wrong, but I just want to know. I'm not, you know, although I said I'm I'm separate, I'm separate in the fact that I'm a Christian, and you know, a, a Christian, a born again Christian, is a turd in the pool. To people who don't want to believe, they don't want to know about Christ. You know, well that's fine, but that but please don't dismiss my experience as being a targeted individual but just because i'm a christian therefore everything i say is rubbish you know that i'm just offering my advice but i can't deny my testimony so i just want to know to everyone who's a target you know i might not know you know your name but if you I, I, I do pray for people and I do pray for targeted individuals. Ultimately, I pray for them to be saved. But that doesn't stop me praying about people who need help and need support and comfort. And and faith and work. You need works on top of your faith, you know, to... You need love. You need to show... There's no good saying you're a Christian, you love people and you don't do anything. But I'm limited to what I can do. So I want to support those who are more grounded in this who are more active in this are going to are, are going to be more active in this i want to support them and i want to also reach out to anybody that needs it and, uh, you know i'm not a leader in this i'm not uh, the head of this i'm not the the brains of this i'm just one individual person just like everybody else is a target uh, everyone has something to add so you know i am a supporter of sharing individual testimonies you know, and even keeping them in one place so somebody can go to and see all those testimonies and learn from. I I do support groups like that, commun community groups like that. But any bickering and, and, you know, I'll spit on it because it's crap. It's a waste and it just, it's a waste of time and effort. And, and if you are a targeted individual, just be very careful that you look around before you, shop around before you, 
you know, put your trust in what people are saying or, or who to look up to or who to ask for help if you need practical help with something. You know, be careful. Don't don't be too quick to go and trust somebody because they they're singing or because I've been deceived by people that sound in in, in my Christian life they they know all the right words to say. You know, and you've got to be careful about being too paranoid and not trusting anyone. You've got to know when to trust and what to trust and who, who you can trust with the information. But you can't trust somebody. You can't put all you can't put all your burdens on one person. You have to take responsibility. Now, I have Christ. I put all my burdens on him. And that's what I want to want. Because I know how, how strength, how, such a comfort that is to have God to know, understand completely everything you're going through. And that's uh, and, and I'm only sharing his heart, what he's taught me, that's what I am sharing coming across, whether you believe that or not. You know, if somebody says to you there's a million pounds in a bank account for you, I've just put it in there, you know, here's the card, and you go, oh no, I don't believe it. You're not gonna go to the machine and put it to the test put the pin number in, oh, it, there is a million pounds in there. The person wasn't lying. You know, and that's a bit like faith. You know, it's like a, a if there was a house at the end of a straight road, and I said, and somebody said to you, oh, if you go and knock on the door on that house, the truth lives in there. You go, what, what are you talking about, the truth? You know, the, and you, and you, and, but if you don't go and knock on that door, you're not gonna find out. So don't believe what I say, you know, go and find out for yourself with all things, with all knowledge. So that's basically what, what, what I wanted to add and hopefully I've covered everything and I won't, I won't have to do, <laughs> I'm lazy, I won't have to do any more targeting individuals because I don't want to saturate what's already out there but I did want to try and compile my experience and if I do gain any more experience and it builds up a bit more, I'd like perhaps later on Add, add what I've learned but I'm not it's not my sole focus and I'm not knocking anyone who is who's actively doing it all the time fair play to these people you know I support people like that who are practically doing things for others I commend that and I look up to that and I appreciate that so God bless everyone who's a targeted individual and just to you know let you know that you know I know what it's like it's disgusting and it but don't give up, don't ever be suicidal because you don't want to lose out in life. No matter how miserable your life is, there is season, you know, there's seasons of badness, but there's also great blessings of going through these experiences. It's not always easy to see, but A, it builds you as a person, as a character. And that's something, you know, that's something to hold on to and, and appreciate and be thankful for. And, and uh, so hang in there if you are really suffering it and it's freaking you out or it's a nightmare. You can overcome it, you can get through it because there's so many examples that you look and and, and then if you think your circumstance is bad, you, you'll find someone who's been through 30 times more than what you've been through. And then that goes on, you know, excrementally incrementally excrementally excuse me incrementally that goes you know there's always somebody worse off but it's important not to compare oh because he suffered therefore my suffering doesn't count everybody everybody's experience counts and just because someone's been through more than you it doesn't make them better than you it just it, it, it gives them more experience but that also gives them more responsibility to do something with that experience and that's why you have people further up the road because they've experienced more therefore they got more of a responsibility to conscientiously share that and I, i'm the same but i've got so so many areas i can't just focus on one thing so my focus is on on the gospel of jesus christ and 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 the little and, and where I can do something good in an area, that's where my heart wants to do, and that's what I was doing these videos for. That's my, that was my motive. So um, I'm going to leave it there. So all the best to people who are targeted, and and just uh, thank you for sharing your experiences and knowing knowing that you're out there and showing your face and hope you know that I'm sure 
that will help other people coming up. Because that's another thing I'm mindful of. What do the people who are coming into this see? You know, I've seen this in so many areas. Think of the people coming up the road. You know, you don't want to be, you know, leaving pitfalls for them and, and, and a horrible f squabbling and fighting. You know, people need an avenue where they can gather themselves and find proper information. You know, and that's what I'm trying to do, compile all the information and and and, 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 and just lay it on the table. Look, here, here's my satchel emptied. Have, if, if there's anything in there that's any good, help yourself. So that that's really what, another thing I wanted to say is think of other people that uh, you know. It's not about who's who's the best and who's who's got the biggest. You know, it's about those who genuinely care and those who've been through it, those who know what they're talking about. That's what you need to look for: is something you touch on that you know is true, that you're conscious know that that person is genuine, that person knows what they're talking about. Because you know it's helped you, and if somebody helps you, that's good. You know, that's a good thing. If somebody's patronised you or trampled all over you, you know, you need to steer clear of these idiots. And if you can't deal with if you can't face them, you know, just avoid them. So uh, that's another thing to consider. People, victims who have haven't awoken to this yet or not aware of it or it hasn't happened to them yet because it's a whole confusing a ball of confusion when you're coming up behind the road so that's another important point i wanted to make to consider and something i've considered because i've been one of those people vulnerable coming in coming up behind a load of squabbling and then you get left you get pushed out on the outside and then you suffer more than you and these people could help you but they don't, they just, it's about who's got the biggest, uh, biggest YouTube page or the biggest amount of hits, you know. It's not, it's not about hits, you know, the genuine people will get the hits, but also people who are in it for, who get sponsored, they, they're going to get extra hits. And hit, an and amount of views you get online is controlled anyway to steer, you know, it's all, it's all controlled by dirty fingers and hands so anyway all the best and I'll leave it there